Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. You might have heard about an RPG game. The full form of RPG is role playing game. So what is a role playing game? An RPG game or a role playing game is a game in which the players assume to be a character in a fictional world. The players progress through the game's storyline and many side quests that improve their attributes and abilities, leading to correct development. You must have already guessed which RPG game we are going to create. A Harry Potter RPG game. Oh yes, how could anyone ever forget the magical world of Harry Potter created by J.K. Rowling? It has created a very special place in the heart of every Potterhead. Don't tell me that you never wished to get the Hogwarts acceptance letter and live in the visiting world. Hogwarts is like a dream home for every Potterhead. Well now, it isn't a dream anymore. We'll be creating the visiting world of Harry Potter and studying at Hogwarts just using Scratch. At first, create a customization. You can customize your character to make it look like you or the looks you wish to have. Not just the looks, but you can also keep an RPG game name and your blood type. So now, let's get started. So you can take these costumes from the link in the description, the boy and girl sprites the wizard and witch buttons and the click here to enter the name. Now we'll start with the code of the player. We'll make some new variables. The first one named random value storage. OK. Second one named house. OK. The third variable named name. OK. The fourth variable named blood type. OK. And last, the fifth one named gender. OK. So when the flag is clicked from events, we'll go to variables and we'll take the block set block and we'll duplicate this and change all the values to unknown except for the last block set random value storage to blank. Like this. Now we'll make a new list named user profile. OK. Now we'll hide this user profile, delete all of user profile, add join username and username from sensing to user profile. Add name unknown to user profile. Add gender unknown to user profile. Add blood type unknown to user profile. Add house unknown to user profile. When the flag is clicked, hide, go to X and Y0, that means to the center. Wait for one second. Set random value storage to pick random 1 to 3. If random value storage equals to 1, then set blood type to Muggleborn. Replace item 4 of user profile with join blood type Muggleborn. Now we'll duplicate this code of the if block, change the values to if random value storage equals to 2, then set blood type to pure blood, replace item 4 of user profile with join blood type and pure blood. We'll duplicate it again, like this, and then we'll change the values again, if random value storage equals to 3, set blood type to half blood. Replace item 4 of user profile with join blood type and half blood. Yes. When the flag is clicked, clear graphic effects for the button sprite. Go to x0 and y0, that means to the center of the screen. Hide. Broadcast male slash female. When I receive male slash female, Switch costume to male gender button, create clone of myself. Switch costume to female gender button, create clone of myself. Now we have these costumes as switch and wizards button. Forever if block. If costume number equals to 1 or costume number equals to 2, then if touching mouse pointer then set brightness effect to minus 25 
else set brightness vec to zero that means the normal state if costume number equals to one then if touching mouse pointer and mouse down then replace item 3 of user profile with join gender and male now we'll duplicate this code set gender to male broadcast enter name delete this clone duplicate this f block code like this and put it beneath change the values if costume number equals to 2 then if touching mouse pointer and mouse down then replace item 3 of user profile with gender and female set gender to female broadcast enter name delete this clone from controls when when i receive enter name wait 0.2 seconds switch costume to enter name button create clone of myself When I start as a clone, show forever if costume number equals to 3, then if touching mouse pointer, then set brightness effect to minus 25, else set brightness effect to 0. If touching mouse pointer and mouse down, then if costume number equals to 3, then ask enter your in game name, enter thrice in order to confirm and wait. Replace item 2 of user profile with join name and answer, set name to answer. When I receive enter name in the player sprite. When I receive enter name, if gender equals to male, then switch costume to preview male. If gender equals to female, then switch costume to preview female. At last, show. So if you like the project, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. For most videos, don't forget to put the notification bell on. Until then, stay magical.